we're facing an economic crisis that has devastated millions of families and small businesses across this country. Two weeks ago, many people celebrated the latest job numbers, which showed a dip in the overall unemployment rate. But we're not going to be able to build a successful recovery if we don't understand the scope of the problem. So I wanted to dig into the numbers just a little bit today. Chairman Powell, are jobs coming back at the same rate for both black and white Americans? Are they coming back at the same rate? Um, no, actually, I think that's I think the answer to that is no. Uh, I'd, I'd want to check that. But I believe that the. Uh, the black unemployment rate did not come down as much as the white unemployment rate. Uh, in fact, Chairman Powell, you might want to look at the numbers. Numbers. I was going to say, as I understand it, white unemployment fell to 12.4 percent, while black unemployment yeah. actually rose Picked up 16.8 percent. Is that right, Mr. Chairman? You know, the tenths numbers. I, I would have known that the day after the report, but... <laughs> But, but yes, in principle, right that's right. That is, it Absolutely. came down for white Americans and it went up slightly for black Americans. That, that is correct in the May report. Yeah. So back in March, Congress passed a temporary expansion of the unemployment insurance program. Now we're only a few weeks out from that help just running out. Some people in Congress want to let that help expire. They're saying mission accomplished. So, Mr. Chairman, you noted that the unemployment rate is higher for black Americans, and now we've just said it's actually increasing. If Congress lets unemployment insurance benefits expire, which families are going to find it hardest to pay their bills, to make rent, or to afford groceries? Well, the unemployed, which consists, the people who have lost their jobs um, lately here are, minorities are well, well overrepresented in that group, uh -huh. as are women. So, so let me just ask, Mr. Chairman, this crisis has been hard on millions and millions of Americans, and I know you've been thinking a lot about this issue. So I just want to ask you directly, is it accurate to say that our economy is healthy when there are serious racial gaps in how Americans are doing? I think that's a longer run uh, weakness uh, in our economy. Uh, uh, um, uh, we, you know, even when our economy is healthy, we have longer run issues, and that is, that is one that has been with us for a very long time. So I take it you would describe this as not a healthy economy? That is not, that is not a healthy feature of our economy now oh. or ever. Thank, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I appreciate your focusing on this issue. This crisis has hit communities of color the hardest. They have faced the biggest decline in employment, and they have faced uh, the largest proportion of deaths uh, from COVID-19. The minute jobs start recovering for white Americans, we can't just say that the problem is fixed and start cutting off help for people who are out of work. Senate Republicans are eager to help let, uh, are eager to let this help expire when we still have more than 20 million people out of work and the unemployment rate is going up for black Americans. Inequality is not something that happens on its own. It is the result of policy choices, who we decide to help and whose pain matters. Congress can help those who need it most by reauthorizing expanded unemployment and by doing it now. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. I appreciate your being here today.